and a very good morning from Baghdad, Iraq. Finally, your man is here. So check this out. Looks absolutely glorious this morning. The Tigris River there. So I'm just about to hit the streets, finally. We'll get some food, check out the local market. Let's do this. Let me tell you guys, crossing a road in Baghdad is so dodgy. So finally, we're on the streets of Baghdad. It's, honestly, it's good to be here. Sun is blinding me, but yeah, busy, busy little spot here. Getting a few stairs, thought as much. Ah, oh, th thank you, sir. Thank you. So yeah, I just walked in here and it's a dried grape juice. Uh, I think that's what it says out there. I didn't even order anything, so I think they just assume that you're going to drink something when you come in here. Wow, that's refreshing. Very, it's freezing cold as well. Very refreshing. Mm. Very good, sir. I'm standing here enjoying my grape juice and I've spotted your man. That's the first time I've actually seen him, any photos of him since I got here. Uh, I think a lot of people think that uh, there's millions of people here that admire him, but it's not quite the case. Uh, that's the only picture I've seen so far. I was talking to the worker. And he was saying that lots of the presidents have drank here, including the Saddam Hussein. This place has been open since 1900. Bonkers. So yeah, quite a bit of history for you there. Standing here where Saddam Hussein had his, his grape juice. So there we go, 1,000. So there we go, 1,000 Iraqi dinar for that. So 1,000 is about, I think it's about 80 pence, or just under a dollar, I think. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Bargain. So yeah, I'm still seeing lots of the barber stuff here. See that mosque there? Beautiful. So yeah, this section looks like the, the book section, I think. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, these buildings look as if they've been redone. They look fairly new. That's the Tigris River, if anybody's wondering. I had a few coffees there when I was in Diabaka, sitting along that river. I miss those coffees. Diabaka's not having a good time at the minute, due to the recent earthquake. So yeah, this is reminding me of Damascus, actually. Seems to have a lot of stationary stuff. So yeah, I think I'm at the sort of antiques, antique section. Oh, from Salam, brother. Just looking at this little shop, it looks as if it sells some currency. 
I think. Hello, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, do you have any old old notes? Do you like, literally, literally what you're holding, yeah. Paper money racket? Yeah. Paper money racket. This one dinner. Nice. So yeah, I actually collect notes for people that are uh, wondering. How much one are dinner. they? Yeah, one dinner. And how much? Uh, one thousand. One thousand. Okay. This could well be your next giveaway. Do you have other ones there? Yeah. Ten. Can I take? Can I take a uh, twenty? Yeah. Twenty of these. This. Twenty. Uh, uh, yeah. What cool little spot here? It's got all sorts in here. The man's the man's offering me chai, but Welcome. thank you, sir. Welcome. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Thank you. So can you tell I've got no idea where I'm going yet? We're just walking about here. Interesting place though. Like I said, I didn't think it was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be a lot more chaos, hustle and bustle, but pretty chilled out place. Yeah, it certainly appears to be getting a little bit more lively now. Oops, I took my head off there. So yeah, like I was saying, it's not it's not as chaotic. It's starting to get a little bit chaotic, but it's not as busy and chaotic as I thought it was going to be. To watch my feet here. Yeah, it looks like the, the man makes perfume or aftershave. I think he's making it right now. This looks like the, the, the shoe section of the market. Let me tell you, crossing the road in Baghdad's a little bit interesting. So I'm sure everybody's wondering, do I feel unsafe walking about Baghdad? And to be honest with you, I don't. Uh, there's nothing to make me feel alarmed, so I feel perfectly safe walking about here. So far anyway, touch wood. More books out in the street there. Why keep your books out in the street? Because thieves don't read. Anybody that does read doesn't steal. So other points to note that I've observed since I've been here, sorry about the glare there, is I'm seeing girls without any, any hijab, uh, or niqab, whatever you want to call it, uh, which I'm quite surprised about. I thought it was going to be a little, a little bit more strict here. So yeah, I'm seeing girls with and without it. 
Jesus, look at that building there and she's standing up there, that looks dodgy. That does not look safe. So yeah, I'm just walking about. As you can tell, I'm not entirely sure where we're going. We're just exploring this place for the first time. So you're seeing it as I'm seeing it. So yeah, de dead end, wrong way. So yes, I'm walking about these little these little streets here. It reminds me of Cairo. I don't just watched my my very first video I made actually was in Cairo. It's, the streets are very similar. So yes, I'm walking here. I've just seen something very interesting, something that might surprise some people. A shop that says Glen Fiddock. Interesting. On my way to meet a local now called Ali, a local Baghdadi, and we're going to get something to eat. But as I'm walking down here, I've just seen this building. I think, I think it's bullet holes that are in it. Not sure if you can pick them up on camera. So yes, I'm going to go meet Ali, and I will see you in a second, guys. Yeah, it's now about an hour later, and it just shows you how switched on I am. I forgot all about it, and I'm sitting here eating, but I've met up with Ali. Hey, hi everyone. So yes, the plan is today we're going to head to Babylon, the ancient city of Babylon, check that out. So that should be on tomorrow's video. Just about to finish my food. Um, like I said, I forgot to actually, forgot to actually show people. So yes, it's going to be Babylon next. So. Not a first, not a first bad day. In, uh, not a first, not a bad first day, should I say, in Baghdad. Um, like I said, it's not as busy. It wasn't as intense or as busy as what I thought it was going to be. So stay tuned, and I'll see you tomorrow.